What is the advantage to the leaky feeder system? <laughs> Robust. It, it's Miners are tough. They are tough on equipment. They're tough environments. They're harsh. It is the most rugged, most robust communication system that you could provide in an underground environment. Um, Wi-Fi hotspots are great for certain things, but not for voice. They're just not as reliable as our leaky feeder system. And when you say reliable, it's just the ability to from get the voice from point A to point B. Is that what we're talking about? Absolutely. Um, being able to communicate via voice underground to topside to everywhere else in the mine is critical. Whether it's safety, whether it's production, for whatever reasons, you need to be able to talk. And Leaky Feeder is robust, and it, it just works well. It's been around for many, many years. The technology has advanced, and it's gotten better, easier to maintain, um, but it still provides the same solution, which is clear voice communications. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know what you're saying. I, I've got a cable hanging on. There's lots of ways to do <laughs> right. radio where you can yes. uh, or or um, do these talk shows with, um, yeah. you know, you can do it off different systems. But at the end of the day, we use this system because it works every time. There is there is no exception. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Is that when you talked about like that, that Hecla mine, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned them because I they had a great interview uh, with us. Um, so nice. Um, when you when you mentioned that original mine in the eighties, when you say upgrades, what kind of upgrades go into a system over the span of, I guess that's 40, that's 40, over 40 it's years almost ago. 40 years. Yeah. I was just yeah, listening crazy. to the radio. They were doing these, they were playing songs that were now throwback songs that seemed like they were yesterday. It was really scary. It was a really, music's on the oldie station. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. Really awful segment of the radio. I don't know why they would do that to people <laughs> driving to work, but anyway, um, Yes, I guess that's over yeah, over 40 years ago. What kind of upgrades go into a system like that? Uh, so th there are several. One of them is uh, one of our uh, partners is Motorola, um, and those are the handhelds that people use that they talk on. Um, obviously, very critical component. Motorola is the best. That's why we partner with them. And their handhelds have advanced over the years, and a lot of them have different features and benefits. So that's one way to upgrade, obviously. Uh, the other one is our, our actual equipment that we manufacture um, has got more and more advanced. One of the best uh, one of the best advancements in my opinion is auto gain control. So miners don't want to worry about their communication can make they do not want to have to worry about their communication system functioning. So the easier we make it, the better it is for them. So that we use auto gain control. Auto gain control basically tunes the amplifier that way, they have clear communication without going down and physically adjusting it themselves. So that was one major advance, advancement in um, our equipment in the last several years. And so does that become now standard? or can some do? Absolutely. Yes. I think we only have one mine utilizing our old amplifiers because they didn't want the new for whatever reason. But, yeah, everybody's now using the uh, self-tuning amplifiers. Yes. Yeah.